Welcome to Customtronics and our new awesome product, the Jaybreaker Jigsaw. Uh, the Jaybreaker Jigsaw is a tool that can launch our Rax Jaybreaker software that was discontinued like two years ago from uh, 1651 software version. It was a very popular uh, product and now we're really happy to get it back on track again. So you can add front camera, cargo cam, video inputs, lockout, SO3 app and custom maps. The Jigsaw is not VIN based so you can use it in several vehicles. Like if you have a buddy that you want to do the same thing to launch the Rax Jaybreaker, you can use the same one tool for both cars but the licenses are sold separately. This is the product you get. It's a USB cable and the jigsaw. The jigsaw is a USB device, but it's more as a PC than a USB stick. And you have a SD card that is, has your software on it. And then you just connect it with the uh, USB cable and into your USB port on your navigation. I'm gonna show you how it looks when you load the jigsaw on your unit. Now we're going to show you how the jigsaw works. We have put it here so you can see it easily in this video, but uh, it's otherwise it's loose and it's like a normal USB stick. We can check the version here. You go into apps and then settings, and then you scroll down to system information. This is the latest software there is, 1845. And uh, it really doesn't matter what software version you have, you can always use the jigsaw and also for European customer who has a conversion you can now um, use the Rax jailbreaker software on the, um, the protected versions also so it really doesn't matter what conversion you had before if you want to use a good one so now I'm just gonna plug it in On new versions from 1743 and up, you get this screen coming up. But on the older version, this doesn't happen. So I just press cancel or OK, it doesn't matter. And now it's going to take between like four, four minutes and 30 seconds uh, to five minutes and 30 seconds. And just wait for, for the screen to pop up. And in this video of course we're not going to have you waiting five minutes so we're just going to do some magic in the editing all right now it's finished and you get this menu now you press yes and uh, it will tell you to please wait while preparing install same thing here you don't do anything just leave it in and whenever you do do not power off Otherwise, you have to start from the beginning again. Then it's rebooting. And this shows. All right. Now, the jigsaw has done its magic. And we're just going to pull the plug out. And then we're going to use the Rax Jaybreaker software. Jigsaw is one product for opening up. And the Rax Jailbreaker is the software, so it's two different products. It's good to use a USB stick that is flickering, so you can see it's working. But you just wait, and then it's going to start installing the software. And uh, depending on what version you have, it's going to take different time because it needs different units to program so it's not going to look exactly the same on every version now we're starting now you can see it's number one unit of 14 but as I told you before this could be different so it depends on what version you have now just let it be and it's going to continue to 100% and reboot and then it's up and running as normal it's done and then we have to install the token that's the license for your vehicle remember do not run this software whatsoever if you don't have a license because otherwise you're gonna stay with a lot of problems all right now it's finished 
at the reboot, if you have the stick inside, it's going to ask you for an update again. Even if it says 1845.01 to 1845.0171, you still have 171 installed, so you don't need to run it again. You can just press no, and then you pull the stick. All right. Now the software is installed, everything is good, but you need to install your license that we call the token. And the best way to uh, install the token is to put it on an empty USB stick. You can also have it on the installation stick, but then if you press uh, no, you have to wait for five, six seconds before it comes up. So the easiest way is to just take it on another USB stick, an empty one, and then wait for a while now it says found token install yes okay press install now we have a lot of different features and we're going to give you the features we believe you need or the ones you ask for you can always get new ones if if there is any feature you want to change but normally you have a uh, cargo cam uh, front camera front view, lockout, and SRT app. Uh, at the moment, SRT app is not working on every car, but we're gonna fix that. But here you go again, so I want the car cam installed, and then it's gonna just cycle through the, the features. This cargo video is, if you don't have a cargo cam, but you want an extra video input, I don't want to install that. If you want to add a CD, player I don't want that so you just install the features you want DAB is only for European units or uh, export units this is for the front camera we want that installed front uh, view camera is the feature where you uh, when the speed gets lower than 10 miles per hour or 20 kilometers an hour, it turns on and off. Some people love it, I love it, but some people doesn't. So you can choose, I want it, so I install it. Extra language is over for European to get Russian and all kind of different language, I want that too. Speed lockout, this is a uh, video motion or whatever you want to call it but you can use all the features in while in speed I want that too rear camera my car has a rear camera I don't need it so I press continue SRT I want SRT app install and then it's finished I just press OK and it's gonna reset now, if I want to uninstall anything, I do the same procedure. I take out the stick or just wait for it to reboot. And when it finds the stick, you're going to ask me if I want to keep it or uninstall it. it takes a while before it recognizes the USB stick because it's booting up. Now it's rebooted, and you can see and this. Uh, if I press install here, I can just continue, see what it does then. There you get reinstall, uninstall, continue. So in this case, you just go through or add whatever you want. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. Okay, pull the stick. Now I can check, for example, with the cameras. Now I have the cargo cam here, as you see. And um, this is the front camera. Now the rev camera is not there, but I can switch between all the cameras. This is a very nice feature. You can check our Rax Jaybreaker software on YouTube and then you can see all the features working in a car instead of the bench, but it's the same. Thank you for watching.